everyone and welcome to another video of Mold Wizard from Learn and Craft It. I would truly apologize for not showing up lately, but uh, I've just finished my exams and we're going to be back with a lot more videos soon, so stay tuned. And I hope you like this video. So, in this video is another practice for using Mold Wizard and uh, NX12. Um, this is what we are going to accomplish. Um, like this. We're going to make a mold for this part. So stay tuned to know all the tricks about this part with me. So first we're going to close everything about it. And we're going to open a new part. Let's name it clip and export it and and import it. There we go. The first thing we're going to do is to initialize our project if this mold wizard tab isn't visible. So you simply go to application and you open the mold and then it's going to be visible in the menu so you uh, show it and then we initialize our project so he would select our part and the name uh, we still uh, keeping it clip and we can choose material but first you have to assign the material if you want to use this one but we're not going to use it for now so we press ok So as we are used to, he creates uh, a tree of assemblies uh, that he is going to fill. So the first thing uh, we are going to start off uh, is by making the workpiece that we're going to use for our mold. So we go to workpiece in the main part. So he ought to uh, he ought to make the workpiece. These values are fine. I won't uh, edit them. So our main uh, our main like assembly is called clip uh, underscore top. Okay. So this is where everything is gathered. So after that, we're going to go for the check regions to let him determine the uh, mold and cavity surfaces so he selected it and then we, we press calculate right now we cannot see the products we might hide the workpiece as well okay and then we go to check regions again and calculate he would uh, selected the ejection uh, direction and then we go to the region tab and then we set region color so as you can see he determined that this is the core surfaces and this is the cavity surfaces but he cannot determine to which uh, part this surface these surfaces belong to like so uh, what we want to do is we want to divide these surfaces so that we assign the bottom half to the core surfaces and the top half to the cavity surfaces so we press ok in order to like do some edits for the part that we have uh, we want to divide faces right so in order to edit them we have to switch windows to the parting uh, window he already opened them for us so we are going to go to the parting and then we control F so here is our part. We can edit it as uh, we want. So we don't have the home and the assembly. Uh, we don't have the home uh, tab. So we are going to select modeling from application. So he's going to show the, uh, the home tab where we can draw lines or do whatever we want. And he's going to open the curve uh, tab as well. So there's a lot of ways to divide this face, but the fastest way I came up with is to First of all, to draw a line, 
and extend it a little bit from the X and press OK and then we project this curve uh, sorry to the body itself and the vector is going to be this way so now we have a line like uh, making our parting line actually so we are going to divide face next And what we want to divide is the um, the body faces already it's fine and then we select the curve itself and then we press ok um, I actually want to test something to see if I have okay this one has not divided so we go to the divide face and then we say like normal to face we test it again yeah there it is it works so after that we go back to the mold wizard and then we check regions again and and we are going to say like reset all and do it again and we can cut and he already calculated and then we uh, coloring everything uh, so as you can see he has already determined that this uh, line is the parting surface and he divided it by himself I didn't need to like select all the faces by myself so and then I press I'm going to press ok so the next step is to like make him do the uh, regions for the core and cavity how are we gonna do this we're going to go to check regions or define regions I'm sorry yes so as you can see he has already determined the cavity region after we check them so you're going to select create regions and create parting lines so press apply and he already applied it for the cavity and the core so we go to cancel as he has already done them by that we don't have to create another parting line so we go to design parting surfaces and he chooses the automatically chooses the best uh, selection for us which, which is bounded plane and then we press ok let's try to see if our uh, settings work this way uh, as we as you can see there's only two regions it's, it's the cavity region and the core region so the first one is the cavity we press apply and there you go no errors at all so it works fine and then press ok and then we define the core and there you go it's identical of course and then we press uh we press cancel as he's already made them so if i want to go back to our tree i'm going to select the products which contains everything that we have done the core and the cavity and parting set workpiece everything so what we're gonna do next is a little bit of a show actually so we are going to go to assemblies we're going to go to sequence and we tell him we want to do a new sequence and we insert a motion this part to move to the top and camera movement right to the sides and the lower part to move to the bottom and that's it so and then we press finish right if you want to go back I'm, so, I'm sorry and we uh, press play so this is our view it's kind of a show of it might uh, be a little bit better if the product was a little bit complex or something and you can uh, also add your own touches to it so I press finish so that's it for this video guys I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something from it. If you want me to make a video about a specific thing or a specific command that you want to learn about, just tell me in the comments below and I'm going to make a video about it 100%. And that's it guys, so I'll see you later.